Before the blood pressure measurement, a patient should avoid drinking of coffee and smoking at least for 30 minutes. Blood pressure measurement is provided at least after 5 minutes of rest. The patient should be seated with his back supported. The feet of the patient should be placed on the floor in parallel one to another and not to be crisscrossed. Before the blood pressure measurement, we should be confident that the size of the cough resembles the size of the brachium of the patient. Typically, the standard cough is used with the width of 12-13 cm and the length of 35 cm. The cuff is placed around the brachium in order the lower margin is 2 cm above the bend of the elbow. The air tubes of the air reservoir are located on the lateral side of the ulnar fossa and they should not prevent the, to provide the further auscultation. One finger should pass between the cuff and the brachium. In case of the primary BP measurement, it is recommended first of all to measure the systolic blood pressure with palpation method. We find the place of pulsation of the radial artery. We inflate the air inside the cuff up to the level of 78-80 mm hydrogerum quickly, then slowly each 10 mm plus by feeling the pulsation of the radial artery. We determine the moment when the pulsation disappears. Insufflate nearby 10-20 mm hydrogerum and begin to deflate the air from the cuff slowly. When the pulsation of the radial artery disappears, it is the systolic blood pressure value. This value we will use for further identification of blood pressure level. It is worth mentioning that after the primary insufflation of the ear into the cuff, the brachium of the patient should have a rest at least for 2-3 minutes, because the further too quick insufflation of the ear into the cuff will lead to the false high systolic blood pressure. After 2-3 minutes of the rest, we find the pulsation of the brachial artery with palpation. Over that place where we found the pulsation over of the brachial artery, we put the stethophone endoscope. We start to insufflate the ear into the cuff. We insufflate the ear fast up to the level of 80 mm hydrogerum, after which slowly up to the level which we found with palpation method and 20-30 mm hydrogerum in addition. After that, we deflate the ear from the cuff with the speed nearly 2 mm hydrogerum per 1 second. We estimate the auscultation signs which appear over the brachial artery. The appearance of the first Korotkov tone or the appearance of the auscultation signs over the brachial artery is responsible for the systolic blood pressure. The diastolic blood pressure is fixed. When the sounds over the brachial artery disappear, that reflects the fifth, uh, the fifth phase of the Korotkov tone. As a rule, we should measure blood pressure on one brachium no less than two times. We do not take off the cough from the brachium, but we fully deflate the ear from it. In 2-3 minutes of the rest, we repeat the measurement of the blood pressure. Both systolic and diastolic blood pressure is fixed as the middle value between two consecutive measurements, respectively. At the first contact with the patient, we should measure the blood pressure on both hands and compare the results. The results should be practically equal.
the normal difference between two hands should be no more than 10 mm hydrogen for SBP and 5 mm hydrogen for DBP.